see what happens. Yeah, last night the Celtics had the NBA's third overall worst record. The Sixers actually have the second worst record at 8 and 27. The Warriors will come in with a record of 13 and 22. We're back. Field. Warriors will make a change in the starting lineup. V.J. Armstrong and Latrell Sprewell will remain in the backcourt together. Chris Mudd and Joe Smith will be at forwards, but the change necessitated by a left foot pain for Felton Spencer has Todd Footer making the start tonight. Todd Airlines, Alan Iverson and Jerry Stackhouse, the backcourt. Starting at small forward is Mark Davis, a second-year man out of Texas Tech, playing very well at 24 in their last game. Clarence Weatherspoon will start at power forward, and Michael Cage at Philadelphia defensive lane. That just gives you a glimpse. A couple of things. First of all, we know about Sprewell, his explosiveness, but the lack of defense from the weak side of Philadelphia. Mullen able to tip in the missed shot, and the war made more field goal attempts. Than taking more shots than anybody on this team, and that really shouldn't happen being your point guard. What a oh, great nice pass. pass. Joe Smith, the touch pass on the rebound, very Mullen-like into Mullen. And the Warriors take a nine very cleanly that time. Mullen just wheezes way down. Into Fuller, and he scores. They're just going to Weatherspoon every time. Good weak side help by Joe. Armstrong to Mullen, he pops a three quickly, and the Warriors have opened up by Andrew DeClerc. B.J. knows Mullen's wide open, he just pops and drops. Philadelphia, they have hit just five of their first 15 shots. This is one of the worst shooting clubs in the NBA. Mullen, a three-pointer. The Warriors are up ready, and they're just simply going to him one-on-one -on -one and standing around. Mullen gets another. <laughs> this one's a two. Mullen has already put up six shots in the game. He took in the entire game. He's been kicked out of a pro game. Well, that happened at the nine minute, 30 second mark of the fourth quarter. And had he made that shot, he did make the shot. Had he not called the traveling, the Warriors would have been down by seven. Mullen drops to Spreewell. And Spree gets the bounce. 14 points for Spreewell, 12 for Mullen. Got 63% in the first quarter to Philadelphia's 39%. Baseline. Four minutes to play in the first half. Warriors 67% shooting numbers in the early portion of the game. Led by Latrell Spreewell. Spreewell has hit 10 of 14 shots. He has 23 points in the first half. Have a road trip against the Clippers. Spreewell with 23, the Warriors with 63, and an 18-point lead. Make it 65 and a 20-point advantage. Mullen has added 14 points in this first half. But he can shoot the ball from the outside, and he doesn't take bad shots. Not a big scorer. Joe Smith fouled by Witherspoon. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. Blaine played his first three years with the Bullets and went to Denver last year before signing as a free agent with Philly this past July. He's had a lot of trouble this year and the last two years with injury. Seven, nine points, and those are your leading scorers for the Warriors. Sprewell with 23, Mullen 14. I want, to, I want to amplify that point, and I agree with you. More turnovers, and that's the story of the game, and people kind of accept those turnovers. You can see the mentality of a guy like Allen Iverson. And that's your point guard, and I, I'm going to criticize it because he just shouldn't shoot a shot like that. Mountain inside for V.J. Armstrong. The Sixers have 65, and he has 30 of them. A wilt-like performance. Mountain blocked. Ed, the Sixers in rebounding three of his first four years here in Philadelphia. John McClain is back in. That play right there, I just don't understand why they're all on Witherspoon. They call him a tweener. They say he's too small to play inside. He gets it done. He leads. The entire team in field goals attempted. Here we go, Spreewell. Pat Croce, the former strength and conditioning coach. And it, it's almost like it's a scrimmage. It was all of that, a lot of that last night. Spreewell! Look at how the lane opened up. I mean, no one stopped the ball. Johnny Davis stops the game. But your first object of attention is to stop the basketball. And everyone just simply backed away from it. Sprewell, home free, and the Warriors up by 24. Mullen, play number three is Mullins, beautifully executed. What a shooting night he's had. 
Seven of ten from the floor for Clint leading New Jersey like checking the Jack in the Box scoreboard. Minnesota, Warriors need them to lose to Chicago. They're trying to beat them out for the playoffs. Orlando with a nine-point lead. Warriors will see the Pacers the next stop on the road trip. Will they be one and two on the trip or will they be 0 and three? Mullen moves him closer to one and two as he makes the first free throw. Warriors up 114 to 105. Solid game for Christina. 19, now 20 points for Mullen. Seven of 10 from the floor. Four of four from the line. He has nine assists. He has seven rebounds. Mullen also had 20. Joe Smith, 26. Mark Price, 19. Warriors shot 56% from the floor. And they bounce back. After losing the first two stops on this road trip, they come to Philadelphia and they drop the 76ers with their highest scoring output of the year. They had 73 points in the first half. That was the highest scoring half of the year. And they wind up with a new season high point total of 128 in their 17-point win tonight.